slight change of plan. We've decided to get up even earlier than I would have liked to to make the most of the great driving roads around here. Now, unfortunately, there's been no more snow overnight, which sucks a bit. But we are in an area where the roads are fantastic. So instead of heading straight back to Geneva, which was my original plan, we're gonna get the GT3 RS and head south all the way to Nice, because there's a fantastic road which winds its way down there. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's hop in the RS and do it. Just before we were leaving the hotel, like one of the guys who works there was like, ah, you've got a nice car, why don't you uh, head up this road here and check out the view? <laughs> now, unfortunately, most of the roads around here, as you can see, they are quite literally closed, which is a shame. This one's all chained off. Uh, but he said, regardless, it's still worth coming up here and checking out the view before we head home. I am gutted that there isn't snow, but we did think while we're here, we might as well make the most of it. For me, this is what it's all about. The adventure, the journey, taking in these stunning views. It is quite literally a breathtaking place. Anyway, let's chat. More RS. Me that the original idea that we came out to hunt down some snow hasn't quite worked out. Driving through the mountains is just one of the most jaw dropping, awe inspiring things. It's so cleansing, too. It's just you and the car, and what a car! The scenery is out of this world, stunning. Now, I always think, okay, if you're heading to a destination and you know, it's hundreds of miles. I mean, today, for example, I'm going to be driving about 300 miles to get from uh, Verbier to Nice. But along the way, the sights and sounds that I'm going to be taking in, you'd miss it all if you were flying. Now, don't get me wrong, of course, this is a driving trip, so the whole purpose of it is to indulge in driving. I guess if you're flying somewhere, you just want to get it over and done with, but it's all about just discovering and immersing yourself in this beautiful world and that for me is one of the main reasons why I love traveling by car it's man machine nature stunning scenery and this time of year there's no one around it's just, it's just this vast open playground of beautiful roads now this is only the sort of second time that I've spent plenty of time with the GT3 RS. Funnily enough, back home I've been using my GT3 a lot too. Uh, it's really interesting to hop in these cars back to back. At first, you know, there isn't a really big difference. It's not until you really get up this thing that it starts to come into its own. But one thing I have noticed is that these winter tires, they have made quite a big difference to how it feels. Now it doesn't have that initial sort of bite and turn in that the GT3 is famous for, but you get it on these cold roads. Earlier on when we were higher up the mountain, it was a beautiful road, but it was a bit icy. The tarmac started to get quite cold and that's really when these tires come alive. Uh, and I would have definitely have preferred to have been on these than on the, uh, well, basically slicks that the RS comes with. Oh. The great thing about the Alps is you never get tired of it. It's 
I mean, I've been driving these roads for years and every time I come back, I feel like there's something new. And what's great about driving is every time you come in a different car, it's a different experience. Now, unfortunately, with us heading to Nice, these roads are only happening for the next sort of maybe 50 miles or so, which to be fair, from a driving indulgence point of view, isn't bad. But the majority of the journey time after this is gonna be motorway. So I'm gonna stop chatting and uh, yeah, show you what these stunning roads are all about. Let's hit it. That's it, first stop of the day. We've just wound our way out of Switzerland and we're now in beautiful Italy. Journey so far has been great. Scenery, as you've seen, has been fantastic. This is our first stop. We're gonna fuel up the car and I'm gonna fuel up my body with an espresso because I need it so badly. And then we're gonna uh, yeah, do our final leg all the way to uh, Nice Airport. So uh, yeah, coffee, petrol, road, hit it. Okay, while Switzerland's been fantastic, Italy knows how to do a proper coffee. Italian service stations, espresso, cappuccino, boom. Welcome to a very unexpected location. This is Cap Ferrat in the south of France. Yesterday morning, under 30 hours ago, I started in London, caught a flight to Geneva, picked up the Porsche GT3 RS, drove the RS to Verbier, did a whole mountain scene filming there, spent the night, had a really nice meal and a good evening at the W Hotel. This morning, woke up, wound my way all the way back down that mountain range through Switzerland and into Italy. And now I find myself in the south of France, about 600 miles later. Now, down here, it's 17 degrees, whereas this morning in Verbier, it was minus three. So uh, yeah, it's been a contrast start to finish, but the point of all this is, it just shows that all you've gotta do is get up and go. You can do incredible things in a very short amount of time. I've been to three countries, I've driven 600 miles, been in snow, been in sunshine, and now I'm on the coast of the south of France. Anyway guys, there will be more GT3 RSI action coming in the future, but, this might be my last video until the new year. So, wishing everyone an incredibly merry and happy Christmas and a very happy new year. Until next time, guys. Ciao.